Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Josh and today we're going to be talking about how to flush out a Graco spray pump. Okay, so first thing we've got to do is get rid of all the paint in the lines themselves. So best way to do that is to take our suction tube, get it out of the paint, wait for all that to drain out. So we get as much of that back as we possibly can because there is still a, a fair amount of paint still in the, the pump, the suction tube, um, the hoses themselves. So we'll wait for this to drain out. Okay, so once you're bored of uh, letting this drain and going back into the paint bucket, we can stick it into our clean water. And we, then once we've done that, what we're gonna do is chase the paint through the lines and get as much of it back into our paint bucket um, by using the water sort of just to suck the water up after and push the paint along and then we stop it um, going into our paint bucket once we know that the water is going to come through. So I'll show you how we do that now. Okay, so we'll drop that into our paint bucket, uh, into our water bucket, sorry. Now we're going to chase the paint through here. So we've just got it coming out of the gun now. So what, so what we're looking for is a break in the, uh, the paint pattern here. There's going to be a little spit of air, like that. There you go, so now we've got water coming out there. So there was a little spit from where I took it out of the paint and put it into the water. So there was a little bit of air had gone in there and that spit is what we're looking out for to know when we're running out of paint, uh, when we run out of paint and we're then pushing water through. But when we're doing this, it's important we use clean water so that anything that does go back into here is just watering the paint down ever so slightly rather than sort of contaminating it. So now we empty the prime tube. So this is emptying the pump itself. So. Uh, switch it over and just turn the pressure up slightly and there we go so you're not going to have very much in there at all and it's going to be quite obvious when you've got water coming through again so now we just want to clean the um, we're done with the paint so now we want to clean this as best we can okay so now we've got all the paint out of the way all we're going to do is clean this off and get the water running through it as clean as we can. So we've got it on prime at the moment, set this valve to prime, turn the pressure up slightly and then we'll start flushing it through. So now we're going to clean the hose and gun through, so we've switched the pump to um, to the hose and gun, turn the pressure up ever so slightly and my advice would be hold the front of the gun under the water so you don't get sort of splash back and coming back at you. So let's clean this through. So the, the end goal with this is to get the water coming through the pump as clean as possible so next time when we're loading it up we know that it's going to be clean and ready. Okay, so we flushed those through pretty well now. So now we want to do is switch over to our next bucket of clean water. So if we get our suction tube out of there, wait for as much as we can to drain off so the water isn't going to be any dirtier than it needs to be. Put it into our clean bucket. And we will start priming this now. So we'll switch it back to prime. So basically we want to keep flushing it out until it's as clean as possible, until the water coming out is as clean as it can be. So prime that up now, that went well. Grab our gun, flush the sort of painty water back into this bucket and then once we're coming through with clean water we can switch it over to this bucket. So switch over again, under the water, turn up the pressure. So now we're sucking out the clean water out of this bucket, putting it into here, and then once it starts coming out clean, then we can switch it back over to this bucket. And what we find works best is doing it in sort of like a pulsing manner so that when, you, um, when the pump builds up pressure again in the hoses, it creates like a scrubbing motion. So we'll do that again now. So we've got the pressure a little bit higher. Hold the gun under the uh, surface of the water.
So we're just squeezing the trigger. And you can see the hose is really starting to pulsate. Okay, so the hoses and gun are pretty well flushed out now. Um, the water of, uh, color of this water is slightly discolored, um, but it is pretty clean. Um, so we'll just give that one last rinse through. Okay, so now what you've got to do is empty the water out of all the system so we can load it up with pump armor. Um, if you really wanted to, you could run another bucket of water through, doing exactly the same process of just transferring it from one bucket to another and getting it as clean as we can. But that is pretty clean there. So what we'll do is empty the system now. So exactly the same process as when we were emptying it uh, with paint. So let this drain out. Get our gum. Got it on the gun, get the pressure up slightly. And now we'll just pump that out. Okay, we're pretty empty now. Then we get our prime tube, switch it to prime. Empty that. And that is the system emptied of uh, water as well. So one thing we should also do before we fill it up with pump armor is make sure that our filters in the gun handle and in the pump are also clean. So let's just grab those out. See, still a little bit of paint in there. So we'll take those off, give that a clean by hand. Okay, so pretty clean there. Same with the gun handle, so crack that off. Still a bit of paint remnants on there. Pull that out. Clean that off as best we can again. Clip your guard back on. And there we are. So now we're ready to uh, load it up with pump armor. Really easy to do. So you grab your bottle, gonna need to take our suction filter off. Let's clean that off separately as well. Okay, straight into the bottle of pump armor. Now it's really important here that we have this on recirculate. Because there's no point putting it all through the hoses and gun. So if we recirculate that, Oh no, recirculates there. And turn that up and it will start sucking it down. So we've got it coming through the hose now. And then all we have to do is simply turn it off, lift this out, let the excess drain back out that's in the suction tube. back on. Grab our filter again, which has rolled away. Okay, so there we are. That's the pump all, pump all cleaned out and filled up with pump armor. So that's all you need to do. And uh, you're ready to go for the next time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you have, please hit the thumbs up icon. And if you have any questions, as usual, just drop them down in the comment section below. I'll put a link in the description to all the products we've used today, including the, uh, the pump armor. Um, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.